Welcome to a new vlog. I am gonna, I'm about to go in to get my nails done and I do wear these UV protecting gloves. So I wear this sunscreen and then these gloves over it just for extra protection because if you guys didn't know, when you put your hands into the UV curing light, your hands can get wrinkles over time like depending on how often you go and i come to the nail salon every three weeks so it was crucial that i it was time for me you know to get these gloves so i got them and yeah so these are my nails right now if you guys didn't know protect your hands when you're going to the nail salon these are what we are working with right now they are overgrown they're pink they have stars i really liked them today i'm actually going to do the opposite of pink which is blue i don't know if the opposite of pink is blue but i think in my mind it is so i'm at the nail salon right now we're gonna go in and we're gonna get new nails i'll show you guys what they look like after <laughs> so my hair i was supposed to i got bangs on tuesday and this is not my hairdresser's fault but she cut them too short and i just do not i did not like the look of them so i was relying on them to grow and like it's sunday today i was relying to them to grow, grow fast in the next five days is if i'm even doing the math right but they didn't and the hair is the, the bangs are still short so i'm gonna wait for them to grow out a bit so then i was like okay then what should i do with my hair because i was like relying on the bangs so i just kind of like swooped it like this and i don't even know if it looks i think it looks decent so you know that's the hair there's always something going on you know when i'm going out for my birthday that does not go right and it's usually with like my makeup or my hair but with my hair it was kind of a fail but i'm making it work the outfit is like i'll get a better clip of this later but it's just a white shirt with a corset and then a skirt that i got in a vlog a while ago and it was long and i tailored it from the waist and i made it mini and then i'm just wearing tights and heels what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to open my new bag but basically my birthday is not until wednesday and basically oh my gosh can i just speak Okay, my birthday is not until Wednesday, and I know that one of my presents, uh, the rest of my the rest of my gifts, I'm gonna get on Wednesday. But I know that one of my gifts is a bag, and I wanted to bring the bag out today for when we go out to dinner. And Sunday was like the day that worked for everybody; like everybody was off. Um, so you know, that's the day that we decided to have the dinner. So I was like, can I get one of my birthday presents earlier? So I know that I'm getting a bag right now. I do not know what it is i have my ideas i'll insert right here like what i think it is i think it's a fendi bag a Gucci bag or john galliano like the this one right here but i don't know it has to be something that matches these nails my sister went to the nail salon with me and she picked out the colors for my nails that will match the bag but anyway i knew it it was Gucci. this is the bag this is what i was telling you i knew that it was this bag Look at the it. charms down. Yeah, look at how pretty. But okay, but it was actually, I I thought that it was gonna be a different one, but this is better because this is like crushed velvet. I was, wasn't I telling you at the nail salon? I told my name Marcia, I was like, has she seen that bag before? I was like, yeah, she mentioned it. It matches the nails. I knew it was gonna be Pucci. Oh my god, I did go with the nail colors. Oh wow. I like it a lot. Okay, Pucci, Emilio Pucci is one of my favorite brands ever. Like, this is literally what's in my head all the time. All these colors, the way that they just put things together is everything. So I love this bag so much. I'm pretty sure our table is ready. Just came to use the restroom. Look, can you see the bow on my skirt? I really like it. Little bow, the new bag. I'm gonna go eat now. Like the last one's to leave 
the restaurant. It was so good. I'm so cool. Leaving now. Me and my sister just got a lot of content in the bathroom. If you come to SPG, you know the bathroom is so elite. We always get pictures. I literally have a whole album on my phone of just SPG photos in the restroom. Because it's like, it's so nice in there. So yeah. Okay. Leaving now. SBG. But make sure that you're not covering the mic. Oh, wait, where's the mic? Uh, it's like the, these little dots up there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hello everybody. Today I am bringing you guys along to a work day in my life. I am starting a new career today. I am becoming a tour guide in Los Angeles, California. This is an exclusive Catherine Ahumada La La Land tour. Oh. tired it is my first day on the job I usually don't work this these types of hours so I, I need something I need a little pick-me-up so I'm gonna take them to the La La Land cafe so we're on our way there now and I'll see oh, 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 oh. May I do the upside down latte with almond milk? Yeah. This is how he takes my order. May I do one chocolate croissant? Uh, you absolutely can. Thank you. Part of the Bololand tour is that we're going to accept the Bololand. Pull me through my darkest days, a constant phase where everything's a game. Always stuck in a Lava Land Tour! And I know you needed me to come back home, come back home. That I'm not gone, and you gotta find a way to move on, move on. Cause it's time to. These are my headquarters, the Lava Land headquarters. But make sure that you're not covering the mic. Jimmy Kimmel, he is my neighbor. He's on the side of the street. It looks like there's some event going on here. Let me get through. Okay, guys. It's amazing. We learned a lot about the meteorites. Now we run to cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> tour we just had dinner how was the dinner you guys it was amazing we met ryan gosling yeah. to be continued it's not a horror movie <laughs> <laughs> to be continued We are designing. <laughs> we are deciding on dessert right now. We're doing the spin the wheel thing on the phone that tells you 
what to get. Say my camera hasn't focused yet. Wait. A tiramisu one. Tiramisu. So we're gonna get tiramisu, and I don't know if it's gonna be like an actual cake because it does say that it's lady fingers dip and espresso. So I feel like it's gonna be like a finger situation type thing, not an actual cake, but we'll see. And I am still drinking my martini. It's delicious. <laughs> So it actually ended up being a whole cake. I thought it was gonna be like some like finger food type thing, dessert. We just left dinner. I'll wait for my camera to focus. No, it's my hair does look funny. I thought I ate with the hair and then I'm out and I was like, did I actually or did I not? And I don't know, now I'm starting to think that I actually didn't really eat with my hair. This has been happening recently to me that I've been liking my look when I'm in the house. But when I'm out, I'm like, what was I thinking? I just want to crawl into a ball and go back home. But gotta put a face on, we're already out. And I don't know, I don't even know if I'm making sense. Yeah. The people that get it, get it. I'm at the Grove and it's so sunny today. It's like a really hot day and I left my sunglasses in the car. So I'm walking and I came to the farmer's market to the stand where I usually get like a bunch of my sunglasses. Nothing that I was seeing was standing out to me until I saw these. They're like bug, what are those called? Like bug shaped, bug eyed shaped sunglasses. These are them. They're really big. So see, I can see these with like a cat suit and like straight hair. And I'm like really excited. Like, and they had them in white and black. But I feel like I'd wear the black ones more often. So that's why I bought black. And very protective, you know, to the eye area. Like I love it. matcha and we're thinking of going to a second place for more matcha because it's still it's pretty early basically what we're doing today is that we're with he's my uncle i thought he was my cousin though but i, I just get kind of confused because like my first time hanging out with him my uncle from spain is visiting us in la so we're like taking him out and doing like the most touristy things so we went to alfred's we came to the grove we're gonna go get our second matcha now and then we're gonna go to the hollywood side i'm so hungry i cannot wait for dinner it's like barely five 49 and our dinners at night, but it's fine because I love late dinners, but yeah Now these are the original sunglasses that I came with today But I left them in the car when I was walking at the Grove and since we were gonna be there for a while I did not want to damage my eyes So that's why I bought emergency sunglasses and right now we're currently at the famous Beverly Hills palm trees because my uncle so we we figured it out in the car he is my uncle so that's so like cool you know that i have a tío like because i feel like i don't have like a ton of them that i'm close to and this one like i feel like i've known like forever like i was telling him that we barely met like on sunday today's wednesday and we've been talking as if we've known each other for years like so it's crazy <laughs> favorite matcha i love alfred's i love blue bottle what's my third mm. i don't know maybe chacha matcha i got iced matcha latte with almond milk no syrup it's like perfect just the way it is i feel so bad that we made it like late to the hollywood side my uncle wanted to see this in real life but basically we're the only ones up here right now so i'm keeping him on the lookout you know because you know this area can be really sketch there's a really nice sunset behind me
munchy. Does it smell like anything? Like pineapple? Oh, it does kind of actually smell like pineapple. A little context of what I'm doing right now. I'm at Disneyland with my friend. Basically, she was like, do you want to come to Disneyland? And I was like, okay, yes, I'll go. But I've been coming so often because a lot of people have been telling me if I want to go to Disneyland. And every time that they do, I say yes. So we're trying to find ears that match our outfit. And look at these, like th this like stitch one that they have here. I don't know if I like the, the pineapple thing. But yeah. It's a pineapple it's with blueberry, blueberry lemonade. Stitched blueberry lemonade. What are you looking for? I don't know. I want, I don't want, I'm not leaning to the characters. We should go maybe to another. Oh wait, look at the yellow one. That's cute. Ruchi, oh, wait, you should get Lakers. Lakers. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, you should get the purple so we could be Lakers. I feel kind of ridiculous with them I on. I know. Wait, why is it but, so tight? Right? No, I feel like we're gonna have to take breaks we from like wearing heads. them. I remember when I was younger, I my parents bought me ears and I did not want to wear them. And because I was thinking that everybody, all, everybody in the parks were gonna think those were my real ears, and I didn't have any ears. And I was like, I do not want to wear them. I felt so insecure. I want to see if this one smells like s'mores. I want to say, I don't know. Oh no, it doesn't smell like s'mores. But that's what it looks like. This is cute for like summer. Tropical vacation -ness. Yeah. Do you want your receipt, Ruchi? We came to the conclusion. Oh, yeah, the tag. How did the guy hide the tag? Like that? So basically, we were like putting these like in the middle of our hair. Is that how you explain it? The, the center of our head and it just was not looking good so we decided that we were just gonna pull our hair back and I feel like it looks way better this way but I do feel a little a little funny yeah. <laughs> a little only for today only for today a thing that I've been taking very seriously this year is my skincare and stuff so every two hours we apply sunscreen and if you're wondering how the heck am I gonna reapply sunscreen on top of makeup Spray sunscreen. Every two hours. I have a timer on my phone. The timer just went off, so we're gonna reapply. Do not forget your hands. Every two hours. media manager and I took this picture for her and right now I'm curating emoji combinations for her to choose for her story and we're gonna go with this one over here my one of my favorite things to do is like emoji combinations this is like the only like happy thing from the ride because then after this it becomes like so dark it is, it honestly is. This is why I like this ride because it's low key creepy. Look. Snow White actually has a happy ending now because I remember that it used to end like so creepy and it actually like has a happy ending now they like remodeled the ride anyway we're gonna go to Star Wars land now and then after I want to try something from Star Wars what is it called like a shawarma? shawarma shawarma I want to try a shawarma from Star Wars because I've been seeing that those are like really good so I want to try it and I might do the vegan one but I'm not sure because I've heard that the vegan shawarma that they have is really good but I don't know how cool would it be if we were in like Disney Tokyo right now? Like, oh my god! I know. Bad. There, I would go crazy. I would um, get like I feel like they have like aesthetic -er ears. I don't know. Aesthetic -er is not a word, but more aesthetic. More aesthetic ears. Yeah, like something with pearls and charms and stuff. Sorry. 
I'm so excited. I'm gonna try the Ronto wrap. It basically, it looks like uh, I'm too lazy to like unset the camera because I just set it. So it's like pita, then veggies, and it looks like coleslaw veggies. And then that's like a meatless thing. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I'm so excited. I'm gonna film a TikTok of me trying it. And I've always wanted to try this and I never, like when I come here, I never try it. Today's the day. This tastes a lot like like meat, but I thought I got the vegan one. Update, I got the pork one. I did not get a vegan one, I got a pork one. Because I was like, wow, like the, the so vegan real. meat that I got, it's so good. <laughs> on what I look like. I got a apple freeze thing from Marie Streets and it's so good. It's so refreshing. It's really amazing. I've never had this before but I have heard of it and it's it's 10 out of 10. Like everything that I've had so far today, the shawarma and this have been a 10 out of 10. Well, I have the chocolate croissant because I got chocolate croissant. But look, my friend got the cheesy cheesy bread thing. It'd be really good with like some jalapeno. It's like butter. <laughs> you know what I mean? That sounds, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I thought it'd be like super cheesy, but I like it like this. Got a pickle. You know what I forgot is napkins. My pickle came with like the perfect hollow craving on the inside. Carving. <laughs> Carving, I mean. I added um, hot Cheetos in it. I'm so excited to bite this. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh. We're gonna go in this little bridge. <laughs> Is this dead end? We're trying to get a good selfie by the castle, but I feel like the ones that we got earlier are honestly better than whatever we're getting right now. But I just, I don't know, I feel so like little lip energy right now because my eyeliner like actually melted off. I never have that problem. Why did it melt off? The heat. I look like hunchback when you did that song. I look that bad. No, I look hunchback. Basically, when I went in the, into the bathroom to retouch my lip liner, it was not working because like lip gloss over lip liner, it was like not, it was just not working. Should I try to redo them? I think I need to. I tell you, this is why I need lip filler. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is why I need lip filler. I brought so many lip products for my lips to be looking this way. Oh wait, this doesn't even look that bad. Why don't you take solo? I hate solo. I, so I can't do this little lip energy this thing anymore. I've had it. Yes. After I fix my lips, we can take some pictures. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna get any better. <laughs> After when I have lips, they are. For you, not for me. Look how that instantly gave me lips. I like it. I like it way better. Okay. And then some lip plumber lip gloss. Okay. Thanks, Angeline. And we're back. We're back. I have lips. I have lips. <laughs> yeah. I know, I have lips again. 
This is what it was. This is why I couldn't take a good picture. Because uh -huh, yeah, I didn't have lips. Okay, I don't know what the the yellow thing it's is. A wash of gold. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna try. Well, Ruchi's gonna try. I had. I got these. A, I got yep. these the last time. The best macaron I've ever had. I thought it was like overhyped, but no, it's really good. They're so pretty. Oh, you can smell the raspberry. The big one in that case if the mini is $13 then what is the <laughs> like I was like oh wow but yeah I, I don't know I was expecting this to be like five it's really good though I, I like it vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. I'm really excited to try this because I've seen this place all over TikTok. I'm excited. I cannot wait. It's basically the Mad Happy store and then in the back they have this cafe. And also I did my hair. I braided it last night and then I slept with my bonnet. And then in the morning I removed the bonnet and my braid was intact. So I woke up with like really nice curls. With the wand I just like tried to blend the top part of it. Such a nice day out today. It's like perfect weather, you know. Look, this is like my view right now. I'm gonna show you my view. got here and it looks so good basically this is like the famous foam and technically i'm not supposed to be drinking this with the straw if i want to taste the foam but i'll just like taste the foam later because i just recently put in my straw so i don't want to waste the straw so anyways let's try the matcha mm -hmm. it's really good i definitely i want to try it without the i want to try it without the straw so i can taste the foam like this really cool is what you call this like a dome conversation like couch basically you go down you come down these steps and then it's like a really comfortable couch and that's where i'm sitting i'm gonna film a tiktok right now because i have a really funny tiktok idea that i want to film with my matcha so i'm gonna film that right now so nice 
My red nails matches like the red accents of the store, which is like really nice. I've been really obsessed with this color on my nails. It's Ferrari red if you guys are interested in getting it. If you're a person like me that does not want to ruin their lips for a drink and you like the sweet cream cold foam, what I did Back in the car, my camera stopped recording when I was on a walk, so I don't even know what I was saying, but something about if you don't want to ruin your lips while you're drinking a drink, but you still want to try the foam, wait for the foam to evaporate towards the bottom, because now, oh, th this is a very big pet peeve of mine when there's like a, can you guys see that, like hair stuck on the cup? Like that's so gross. But anyway, at least it's not inside my drink. But what I was gonna say is that if you do this, the cold foam eventually evaporates into the matcha or your coffee and then you can taste it and it's really good so i would say pantry is like definitely for matcha lovers because you could definitely taste the matcha-ness like the bitterness of like what is matcha but the foam makes it better i want to come back here it was really nice it was a nice experience and the drinks are tiny so right now we're gonna go to alfred's and we're gonna get our main matcha drink also guys, I have bangs, but right now they're like curled back. So if you see like little weird hair sticking out, they're just my bangs. But we're gonna go get our main matcha drink because we have an exciting day ahead. We're gonna go thrifting. We're gonna, I wanna thrift my concert fit. I'm seeing 21 Savage on Tuesday and I'm really excited and I have nothing to wear. I have a, an emergency outfit, but it's an emergency outfit for, sorry, my camera stopped recording again. I need a new camera and I'm getting one soon, like probably next month. Basically, I'm not gonna let that stop me from recording today. We're gonna keep recording. We just got to our second home, Alfred's. It's coming right up, up here onto our right side and we're gonna go get a matcha Americano. Oh my gosh, my camera wants to stop recording again. Got my second matcha. Let's try it. I feel like it's gonna be very delicious. And I like the size of it better because it's so large. I'm having Genesis approve my TikTok of the day. You always want to mix your matcha. My biggest pet peeve is like when I can see people's like syrup at the bottom of their coffees or matchas. It irritates me and they're like, oh, that tastes bad. It's like, yeah, because you didn't mix it. is so nice. Look at my very friend outfit that I just found. Not outfit. Brand fine skirt that I just found. It's basically this like hot pink with black velvet detailing and pearls. Oh my gosh, and I have this like pearl necklace that I haven't worn. I have this pearl necklace that I haven't worn. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this skirt and then I'm gonna get these Levi's, these gray Levi's. And then I'm gonna get this shirt, this yellow shirt. I like the color and I like the buckle on the neckline. I feel like I just committed a crime because, not that I did, but it was literally a steal. That's why I'm saying I committed a crime because it feels like I stole. The coat ended up being $16. One, six. I could not believe it. Okay, this is like, I know it's, we're in May, not gonna wear it anytime soon, but when it hits November, December, it's gonna feel so rewarding having this in my closet. Okay. I think my hair, okay, excuse my hair because of the wind. But we are going to dinner now. We ended up not going to the other Goodwill because we're meeting up with a friend for dinner and he was like already here and we were on the other side of town. So we ditched that idea and we came here. So we're gonna go eat now and excuse my hair. It's like the little bangs that I was telling you guys about that they try to come out. Like that one, okay. I think I fixed it, okay. This is us before the 21 concert. 
This is our vibe tonight. The vibe tonight. Okay, we're in here. Genesis is not the biggest fan of our seats, but I want to see. Wait, is that Nardo? I always have to pee. bathroom so bad and 21 is up next and i don't want to miss him like the lines for the bathrooms are insane so a girl was like go to the one outside so i know he's not on yet she said that there's like less line at the bathrooms outside so i just don't want to be uncomfortable during his set you know oh my gosh what a hack oh my gosh hack no line yes i know because of that girl we're not missing 21 I didn't appreciate the last song that much because I thought that he was going to perform Sneaky. I'm live at the Kia Forum. I just saw 21 Savage and my heart couldn't be happier because if you don't know, I love 21 Savage. It was so good. The concert depression is hitting. The post-concert depression has hit. But oh wait, I'm going to show you guys my outfit. Can you show them? Mm -hmm. So basically, my outfit, it's the American Dream Tour. Ferrari red on the nails. Red shirt. Then I have this navy blue skirt. 
love you could see how navy it is. A white detail in it. Not a ton. And then you know concert bags. I had to bring this one because it has some tiny up here. Let me get into the detailing of the crocodile. I mean, the light's red right now, but we saw Nardo Wick was like literally right in front of us in this bus, and we saw him leaving. Yeah, know, and basically, like you, Genesis was like, he's on the road, and he was signing a couple of things. But then, as soon as I think like more people started running, me and my sister, we never ran to him. We were just seeing him from a distance. But that's when like they started like barricading the area. But like some people, some lucky people got to meet Nardo Wick, and I saw him like right in front of me, and I was like, oh. no, it's like eating the ramen. I think it's Nardo. Oh, what the heck? Nardo. Wait, what the heck? Yeah. What? They're leaving. That's literally no, they're Nardo. Leaving. The yellow is like, this concert was amazing. I can't believe I saw Nardo Wick in front of me. I'm sorry, I cannot stop talking about that, but guys, I can't believe it. Like, I've been a Nardo Wick fan for some time now. I cannot believe it. I'm just gonna keep recording this because I can't believe that I saw him. Ah, American Dream Tour. It was a success. Also, another thing, my phone storage kept going out during the show and I had to keep uh, like deleting, going back to delete photos. It would stop recording at the most perfect moments. So I don't know what the heck I deleted, but I did get some good footage. I'm gonna edit that vlog and post it on TikTok. <sighs> I'm gonna be so sad tomorrow.